Oh, hey, so we're going to do something really awesome in today's video because I'm going to walk you through the process I take in editing my tech tutorial YouTube shorts. So if you make tech tutorials where you show your smartphone interface, I'm going to show you how I edit my tech tutorial YouTube shorts like this one or with my smartphone. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you can make better quality tech tutorial videos. Are you excited already? So am I. Let's jump right into the video. Hey there, you're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching a video on my channel, do make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you can join our community of people who use their smartphones productively and profitably. And whether you're returning or you're new, do make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below so the algorithm can share this video with more people. I'm going to shut up now and let's jump right into the tutorial. The first step I usually take when editing my YouTube short is creating the user interface. All right. So remember I said that during the shooting, maybe I didn't, but I'm saying it now. During the shooting, I also do a screen recording of my phone. So you might be wondering what screen recorder do I use? I actually use the stock screen recorder on my Redmi Note 8. All right, so I don't use any other screen recorder. It just serves the purpose for me because it also has the annotation. That's the cursor that it helps me to, you know, show what I am doing on my phone. All right, so on my Kinemaster, I'm going to go to my media browser, of course. They, I'm going to go to the image asset. I'm just going to select, um, let's start with white, although I'm still going to change it to green. I'll tell you why I change it to green. So I'm going to stretch this, all right, all the way to at least one minute because remember, it's a YouTube short, okay? So it cannot exceed one minute. So I'm gonna tap on the color and then tap on green, okay? I've turned everything to green, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do is to tap on layer, and then I'm going to go to my sticker. So you might not see it in yours. So you need to go to your sticker and find these. So just go to this store, asset store, and then look for frames. I think it's in frames or something. I can't really tell where exactly you're going. Okay, yeah. So you can see this 3D phone pack. Okay, make sure you install it. All right. So I'm going to just go to mine because I had already earlier installed it. So this is the 3D foam pack. The next, I'm going to use the whites. Okay, I usually use whites. All right. So next, I can now exit. I will have to delete this one. All right. So this is the one I'm going to use. I'm just going to stretch it. Okay. So I'm going to stretch it. Now you might be wondering why am I doing this on Kinemaster? Now there is what is called feathers on King master that is not on CapCut. If not, I actually these days prefer to use CapCut for my editing. I have the pro version, the premium of King master, but I still find CapCut much more suiting for all, most of my editing. All right, especially because of diverse animations and a lot more cool stuff on CapCut. All right, so I'm going to tap on layer and then I'm going to go to my media and then bring in the screen recorded video. All right, so this is the screen record the screen recording of my screen all right so i'm just going to stretch it to make sure it fits into the the phone all right so the phone is still not as wide as i want it to be so all right i think it's good now okay so now i'm going to bring put the phone on on the phone frame okay now i'm going to tap on scroll down to cropping and then I'm going to turn on masking and then I'm going to tap on shape and then I'm going to use this. All right. So this is actually the interface of a phone. All right. You can see it have curved the edges of the phone. Right. So the next thing I can now do is to crop it. So I'll just crop this side. Okay. And I'm going to move over to the other end and also crop it. All right. So this is something that is not on CapCut. Why I like to use um king master for this purpose all right so once i've done this next thing i'm going to select the phone pack and then i'm going to use this button up here to bring it forward all right so from doing this i'm just now going to a little bit 
stretch it further okay so i'm going to just make it a little bigger then i'm going to make sure it's in the middle then we are going to just come over here all right okay almost there all right i think we're there now okay so you can see that i have successfully okay this is not done yet i'm just going to make sure that this fits in properly okay so i'm just going to bring this okay now we have it all right so we have the phone on the smartphone frame so that's the smartphone frame you usually see on my videos okay on my youtube shorts all right so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to crop this part okay so other things i usually do is actually to confirm the parts that are meant to be in the video or not to just trim it all right but i can still do this on cap cut so i'm just going to take this to cap cut directly and finish it up so the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to trim it here so select this tap on the trim and trim to right okay so now we have our smartphone frame okay so i'm just going to tap up here and export then we are going to go to cap cut to finish off the editing so usually i use full hd all right and then i'm going to tap on save so now i'm on cap cut i'm going to tap on the new project then i'm going to bring in the videos all right so these are the videos okay these are the videos and i'm going to now work on the video so for this one i'm just going to tap on it okay so i'm going to tap on it and then i'm going to go to my adjustment so I always want to make sure that the brightness of my phone is at the highest okay so i'm going to go to my adjustments then the things i usually adjust sometimes is um the exposure if there is need for that okay and then i always like to keep my brightness my sharpen at the highest then of course i'm applying all as well so adjustment exposure then the next thing is usually my shadow all right so i'm going to um apply to all and then the 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 highlight as well and then i'm applying to all then the next one is the vignette i always like to add a little vignette to my video and then apply to all all right so the next one i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the retouch i'm gonna go to the smoothing and i i, I don't do so much of this so it doesn't look look fake all right so i'm just going to keep it at 15 and then i'm going to apply to all then brightening my face i'd also add too much just 15 as well and then apply to all then i'm going to make sure that my teeth is still white because of too many color grading all right so i usually keep this at 50 most times okay and then i'm going to apply to all as well so once i've done this the color grading process is completed all right so i'm going to also go over to the second video to make sure that everything i added is also there okay so everything is perfect now so the next thing is now the process where you know the uh, the planning of the of the camera right so at this point i said this ai tool gives the layout to know now brace up all right so i said now brace up so i'm going to tap on the um keyframe here and then i'm going to add a brace up all right so that it will you know pan and zoom in there all right all right so that's what happened there all right so all of these i'm just going to use that to zoom when i'm trying to make a key point i pan the camera and zoom or zoom out and stuff like that just as you always see on my video uh, let's go over to bringing in the um ui right now this is the part where i'm going to be talking about the video ui okay so i'm not going to be doing this so i'm just going to take a little shot from this okay so now let's assume that i'm going to add the ui in this part of the video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the video okay and then i'm going to tap on copy all right so next i'm going to on this copied video i'm going to tap overlay all right so now this copied video is now here so i'm going to bring the video to this point all right to make sure that everything is equal all right so now for this one 
the next thing i'm going to do is this one i'm going to just you know put both of my fingers like this to reduce the size and then i'm going to go to mask all right and i'm going to use the circle max which is this all right then i'm going to use the arrow key up and arrow key sideways and make sure that i have my face on the max circle all right so here we go all right so here we go okay 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 i'm just trying to get a perfect circle okay all right i think the circle is perfect enough all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to work on the background so first off i would like to take out the sound in the the one i um on the one that i you know did the overlay on so now the background i'm going to go to my water my adjustment again then i'm going to increase the fade all right then i'm going to also increase the vignette okay and then i'm going to change it to um change the saturation to black and white all right change the saturation to black and white okay and then now it's time to bring in the ui all right so i'm going to tap on the overlay and then i'm going to bring in the ui so this is the ui all right this is the user interface so i'm just going to make sure that i zoom in to fill up the the whole screen all right now i'm going to go to cut out and use the chroma key to take out the green part okay so this is the green part so i'm going to tap on intensity and just take it out okay now it's all out so i'm going to increase the shadow all right yeah now we have it okay all right so this is how it's going to look like right now now for my own image i'm going to select the overlay of my image and then i'm going to tap on layer all right and then tap to now it comes to the front okay now i usually just keep it anywhere um here all right somewhere around here okay now remember that they usually i usually have um a white stroke around the overlay all right so this is how i do that so what i do is i'm going to come to the beginning here tap on the overlay and then i'm going to go to my um stock videos all right then i'm going to select the white stock video all right so this is the white frame okay so first of all i'll need to stretch it to where the um video ends okay we had let's assume this is where the video ended okay so i'm going to select this white and then i'm also going to go to my mask and i'm going to also add the circle mask okay now i've done this i'm just going to take the circle mask on my actual video and then i'm going to zoom it in all right so after doing that i'm going to use my layer to put it behind the the circle frame down there all right so i'm just going to keep it this way <laughs> all right but in my own case i usually make sure i have a perfect circle borderline now the next thing is now the test all right this is the test point all right so in the test i just go to my test okay first the captions right and then i tap on the auto captions okay then the next thing i use is this um actual one so i like using this one because the gold um the yellow um color highlight is also in line with my brand color all right so i use that and then tap start okay so it can generate the auto caption for the video all right so we have it here so i'm just going to select all of them okay i'm going to select so this these are all the sh the so i'm going to select all okay so i'm going to select or tap on edit and i'm going to go to fonts to get the actual font i like using on my youtube channel all right which is this Havana nest all right so the next thing i'm going to just you do is to you know uh, make it bigger and then i'm going to go to the styling go to my stroke and then i i like to use the black stroke okay 
and i like to use the black stroke so let's just uh, you know use the black stroke all right yeah we have the black stroke now so that's the black stroke all right so i'm gonna make sure that i play all the all the <laughs> all the captions to the end to edit where it did not get what i said all right so once i've done this the next thing i usually add now is my title all right so let's assume that this title the title of this video so i'm going to tap on add test i'm going to write um new new ai tool all right so i'm going to just tap on the new so highlighted the new and then i'm going to just make it bigger all right so next up i'm going to do the spacing line spacing all right so everything comes closer all right then the font of course i'm going to still put it on avenia nest all right so the next thing is my is my style so sorry my effects rather so i like to use the golden um, effects which is this one it's my always preferred test style all right so i just zoom it in okay so i'm just going to expand it all right and then i go to my cover to make that part of the video the cover all right so once i've done this the last thing i now do is adding my music all right so i'm going to go to audio and go to your sound and find the perfect music that is going to match your video now before you export i would suggest you do the copyright check so to confirm if the music you are about to add to your video is not copyrighted okay if not if you're putting it on youtube shorts you might get into trouble i've gotten into trouble once all right so once all of this is done then you have a perfect youtube short okay for your youtube tutorial all right so once all of this is done you have a perfect youtube short for your youtube tutorial so all you need to do is tap on this button and then use the i always use 2k or 4k all right and then i just tap on this and it's going to export and viola you have a perfect youtube short now before we go let's do a quick audience retention test i always like to ask people between carcott and king master which of them is your most preferred tool for video editing on mobile i would like to know on the comments down below now for everyone that is going to be commenting i'm going to pick three people at random i'm going to be sending a shout out to on my next video so you want to drop that comment right now so i'll recognize you was this helpful you might want to watch another video about another awesome tutorial on my channel over here and also check out this box here which is a playlist of a lot of videos i've done on smartphone tutorials and if you're still yet to subscribe to my channel hit this button over here to subscribe and with this thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one